everyone happy new year once again because we are still in the new year happy new week god bless you thank you for joining us on word with tina i want to talk about a topic i titled return to your father return to your father and i want to read a very popular scripture that we are all you know used to in the book of luke chapter 15 from verse 11 so from verse 11 he says then he said jesus telling them a, a, a parable a story he said a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father give me the portion of goods that falls to me so he divided to them his livelihood and not many days after the younger son gathered all together journeyed to a far country and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living but when he had spent all all there arose a severe famine in that land and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he said he sent him into the fields to feed swine, and he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. Mark that place. Then he said, But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough? You know and to spare and i perish with hunger i will arise and go to my father and will say to him father i have sinned against heaven and before you let me jump to verse 21 and 21 say and the son no well verse 20, 20 sorry verse 20 says and he arose and came to his father but when he was still a great way off when he was still afar off his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. I think verse 20, um, verse 20, Luke 15 verse 20 is the, the motto that carries this whole message, what I'm about to talk about. So, we're in the new year and I don't know how you spent your last year. I don't know how, I'm talking about spiritually here. I don't know how far you have gone. This guy goes up one day and says, Hey, Father, divide, give me my own possession. I want to go. Maybe you pray to God and say, God bless me financially. And God has blessed you financially. He'll bless you with whatever you ask Him. And then you are taking it and you have gone to enjoy life, forgetting the one that gave you those things that you asked for. And maybe it has gone to a level where you have spent everything, you have messed up everything that God has given to you. You are falling, you are not looking looked uh, sorry you have not looked back you know to even look at your father to even you don't study the word you don't pray anymore you are spiritually backward because the bible said that he spent everything and no one will give him anything and he will gladly you know go feed with it can you imagine someone that god puts in a position right here and he brings himself down but all that now does not matter what matters is the bible said that he came to himself and he said I will arise and go back to my father. And that's the point of this message. I don't know how much of a mess that you are. I don't know what you have gotten yourself into. I don't know what you have done. Have you fed with the swine? Have you messed yourself up with the, with the what is it called now, with, with dirt? What is it that you have done? Remember that you have a father. There is one good thing about this father that you and I serve. And worship every day, and that good thing is that He is always, always ready with His hands wide open to you receive you. He will receive you no matter what you are doing. You may say, "Oh, I, I have done so much; I don't think God will forgive me." No, He said, "Do your sin may be red as scarlet." He said, "Come." He said, come, come, let us reason together. What is it that you have done? God is willing to forgive you. Maybe you you don't even know Him, but you know that you have a Father somewhere. Who is God? Give your life to him now. And maybe you've known him, you've been serving him, and now you are backslidden, you are weak, you are not serving him anymore. I tell you what, he is still waiting for you because he's a very, very compassionate God. He's a very loving God. The Bible says here, with this story that he told us that the father he, he has not even come close only the the the, the father sighted him from afar the father was the one that now went to him so make that move today and see god himself coming to you i pray that this week as you make up your mind to come back to your father that the lord will give you the strength and he will not reject you in the name of jesus god bless you and have a very very blessed week